Hello and welcome everyone. This is Type V3 with a review of the Robot Damashi XL2 Booster and Proto Demolition Gun, an add-on accessory set for the Robot Damashi Arbalest Lambda Driver version. We'll start off by focusing on the XL2 Booster. As far as sculpting is concerned, it's fantastic. Plenty of panel etching and intricate details. It's also very sturdy. Unfortunately, the whole thing is almost entirely devoid of any paint apps. Granted, the one spot with paint, the thruster, has a great metallic finish. Still, the booster could have used some lining, a weathered finish, or small logos to make it more interesting. Along with the XL2 booster are two replacement back pieces for the Arbalest. Switching these out lets you peg the entire wing assembly onto the figure. Surprisingly, the Arbalest is able to support the entire weight of the booster, though it's not the most confident display option. Thankfully, included as well is a custom Tomashi Stage Act 5. With this, you can display the Arbalest in any flight pose you desire. Of course, the display base has one extra feature. Because it's molded after a flight deck, the four panels rise up and act as mounting points for the figure. With this, you can have the Arbalest posed as if he's ready to launch. Definitely one of the more unique display bases I've come across. Now we'll shift our attention over to the Proto Demolition Gun. Its presentation is comparable to that of the shotgun included with the Arbalest. However, because of its larger size, it feels a bit lacking without any extra paint apps. Features include a working bipod and a removable magazine. The figure can wield the gun without an issue. When not in use, the gun can separate into two pieces and then store on the figure's back through the use of peg attachments. Furthermore, these attachments can even let both cannons swing underneath the figure's arms and then be used as non-held firearms. Finally, if you remove the peg attachments from both halves of the demolition gun, you can place them on the XL2 booster using the built-in clips on the wings. This setup lets you display the entirety of the package all at once, and that's quite thoughtful. The Robot Damashi XL2 booster and Proto Demolition Gun was originally released in 2012 as a Tamashi Web exclusive. And honestly, that statement alone should give you an idea of what this whole release is about. It's a luxury add-on set only meant for the most die-hard Full Metal Panic collectors. The XL2 booster and custom display stand are very neat, but I wouldn't say they're a necessity considering that, fictionally speaking, they're not anything significant. After all, the booster is just a method of transportation for getting the Arbalest to the battlefield. As for the Proto Demolition Gun, it doesn't even exist in Full Metal Panic. In fact, the entire accessory was completely made up solely for this set. It's basically a make-believe prototype of a gun that would eventually appear much later on in the series. That said, I do love it and all its features. So like I stated before, the XL2 booster and Proto Demolition Gun set is purely for Full Metal Panic completionists. Casual fans are strongly recommended to skip this release. It also helps that nowadays, trying to acquire this set for a reasonable price is practically impossible. But that's all for me. Thanks for watching, and with that, coverage of Full Metal Panic's Arbalest is now complete. Time to move on to something with a bit more of a fiery feeling.